Let's look at qualitative interviewing in the past, the present day, and in the future. We'll start with the past. The authors represent a traditional view of interviewing as reflecting a rational epistemology, one that assumes objective knowledge is out there and that you can access it if you're skilled enough, just like a surgeon can remove a kidney from a donor. And now, the present. Current trends reflect the view that interviewing is inextricably and unavoidably historically, politically, and contextually bound. The interview is seen as a negotiated accomplishment. It's based on reflexivity and active participation from both sides. It's a form of discourse, and responses are contextually grounded and knowledge is jointly constructed. The interview as a negotiated accomplishment may reflect Douglas's creative interviewing. It may take a storytelling approach. It may reflect Schultz's eye-thou relation involving reciprocity of perspective to create a we relationship. But wait, is this the right direction? Current trends in interviewing reflect a postmodern view, but postmodernism could be wrong. Atkinson and Silverman reject the postmodern view of no real world. They think there is a real world. We just create it together. What's the hottest interviewing method used today? Empathetic interviewing is the razor edge state of interviewing. Empathetic interviewing. It acknowledges neutrality is not possible. It's an active collaborative process and it has roots in the queer movement and in feminism. It's about taking an ethical stance in favor of the group studied. It's about being reflexive in the ways in which we go about creating a text. We have to question, question, question. And in knowing others, we come to know ourselves. Here we are at last, the future of interviewing. The future of interviewing will reflect a concern for appreciating new horizons of postmodernism simultaneously remaining conservatively committed to the empirical description of everyday life. We can anticipate three future trends including analytic bracketing, a feminist communitarian ethical model, and more performance and poetics. Analytic bracketing concerns how the story is being told. What is the context? Who is the audience? The 
feminist communitarian ethical model combines the role of scholar and feminist. It's participatory and democratic, and subjects have a claim of ownership over the material created in the interview process. Lastly, performance and poetics, aiming to speak with the voices of respondents, taking a helping stance towards them. Performance is doing, it is now. It's a powerful instrument for social reform. It's about the epiphany in the moment. There you have it, the future of interviewing. <laughs>